Hey everyone, we've got an exciting one today on full text analytics and how to apply it to the incident management assignment process. The problem with um, incident management assignments and reassignments and bottlenecks is that a lot of times these incidents aren't categorized and if they're not categorized then they're not automatically assigned which leaves you in a situation where you need to manually assign. Okay, uh, one of the great ways to comb through your data, uh, and this is for ServiceNow, um, is, is to use the short description field. And uh, something like BMC Remedy you might use summary as uh, you know, an example there. Uh, so what we can do is use the word cloud visualization. Okay, and the word cloud visualization is designed to go against those text fields and pull out insights graphically for you. So, you know, this data is not going to be as powerful because we're in the public cloud. So, you know, the data has been modified, but you can test this with your own data. Now, what you'll find is that it really doesn't work without the multidimensional cubes, except on this very, you know, on the smallest of data sets. But uh, when you're using the cubes, you can query these very large data sets and um, you know billions of records go through all of your incidents across all time and look at your visualize your short description to see which word appears most frequently that's what we're going to be doing here okay so let's look at our total incidents and um, we'll do a tree map as a filter look at group um, it's kind of one of the easy ways to visualize your assignment groups. Okay, uh, so we've got all those there up top. And then down below, all we want is a simple table field. You can use the table or matrix field here for the word cloud. Um, I don't need a lot of space for this. I'm, I probably want to use more, leave more room for my word cloud. Okay, so we'll bring in short description. And you notice how we can go across multiple tables here as well. So you could drag it in from, from any table you like. Uh, so we drag and drop that in. Okay, and then we've got all of our very short descriptions. Now, if this weren't cleaned data, you would see a huge amount of uh, differences in short description because uh, every one of your IT analysts, be it L1, L2, or L3, is going to describe things differently since this is a free-form text field. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and turn that into the, uh, the word cloud, okay? Um, and you can see the example here. It's like every other type of word cloud. The words that are used more often appear larger, okay? So uh, quick example, short video today, under five minutes for sure. But I wanted to show you how you could use that. Um, the, you know, the, with the filter, the last thing I'm going to add here is that you can go group by group and see different word clouds so you can see what that particular group is uh, experiencing in terms of the incidents that they are restoring service upon and then work with each group individually to come up with the categorizations that help them apply the appropriate categorization so that the incidents are automatically assigned. Pretty straightforward but one visualization can make all the difference in an exercise like this. Thanks for your time and let us know if you have any questions through the website.